Hey, and welcome to Brainscape's hand-free coaching sessions. I'm Thea Beckman, your learning coach, and in the series, I read to you popular articles from Brainscape's Academy. Each article contains some really excellent actionable advice on how to develop the right habits and be a faster learner without pushing yourself to burnout. So take me with you while you do your laundry, wash the dishes, drive from college, or just wait for your partner to finish doing their hair and listen to the great advice the team has for you. Today's hands-free coaching session is about a study strategy called interleaving or mixed practice, which has been proven by cognitive science to help you learn faster. With that said, let's dive in. Two students are learning to play three songs on the piano. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and Chopsticks. Student A decides to learn each song on its own perfectly before moving on to the next. Student B decides to mix it up by practicing all three songs every day. Who do you think will be the first to perfect all three songs? Well, according to cognitive scientists, the answer is almost definitely student B, assuming student A isn't Elton John. Why? Because student B made use of a powerful learning strategy called interleaving or mixed practice, which has been widely shown to improve learning and retention. The problem is, while interleaving practice is a powerful learning tactic, it's also woefully underused in the formal academic environment. Even most adaptive learning tools and apps simply stop at spaced repetition without realizing how powerful spaced repetition can be with the added benefit of interleaving practice. Well, that's why the team here at Brainscape did two things. We wrote this guide to help you understand how you can harness interleaving practice to inject a little high octane fuel into your own learning journey. And we became the first ever study app to integrate both spaced repetition and interleaving practice into our learning algorithm. We'll talk more about that later, but right now, let's take a closer look at what interleaving practice actually is, why it helps you to learn more efficiently, and then how Brainscape harnesses this powerful learning strategy to help you learn faster. So what is interleaving study strategy? Interleaving practice, it's a bit of a mouthful, and yet it's the basic principle by which nearly all of life's lessons and skills outside the classroom are learned, randomly, haphazardly, and unpredictably. Think about it. In the real world, knowledge is seldom presented to us in the same ordered, discrete, and blocked way it's presented to us in the classroom and in academic textbooks. And by blocked, I mean one hour biology lecture, a textbook chapter on World War II, or a math problem set on derivatives. Instead, fragments of information bombard us constantly, like meteor shards pounding into Earth's atmosphere. And with the advent of modern technologies like the internet and social media, the bombardment is more relentless than ever. One second, you could be watching an IG reel on how to make garlic focaccia or reading a medium.com article on the telltale signs your friend is a narcissist. And the next, it could be a blog on keeping New Year's resolutions or a new TikTok dance tutorial or the latest news headlines. Every day, you're likely repeatedly exposed to similar information through blogs, articles, and news headlines based on your search history. And although that information gets delivered to you in a randomized and unpredictable stream, the themes you encounter tend to stick in your brain way more efficiently than, for example, the stuff you read about in your economics textbook. And this sucks because it's the latter that you need to remember so that you can pass your exams and graduate. This is where interleaving study strategy comes in. Interleaving practice involves intentionally alternating between different types of tasks or concepts, rather than focusing on one specific task or concept at a time. In the context of learning, this could mean many things. For example, studying concepts taken at random from an entire textbook chapter, rather than in an ordered chronological fashion. Studying concepts taken at random from a number of different subjects rather than focusing exclusively on a single subject, regularly switching between different study modalities, such as watching video lectures, then making study notes, then practicing problem sets, then studying your flashcards, and so on. And regularly switching between study and non-study related tasks, which is similar to the aforementioned, except that it intersperses things like going for a quick walk or doing a load of laundry between your study sessions. Importantly, this does not include dopamine spiking activities like watching TV or playing video games, which will only derail your focus. Now you may be thinking, how the heck can you learn a subject properly if you're constantly bouncing back and forth randomly between topics like this? But that's the thing. It's not actually random. You're intentionally interweaving concepts across a subject or several subjects, which forces your brain to recontextualize every concept it comes across which builds much stronger connections to that information. 
Sure, the first time you're taught something like a historical event or a biological process, it's likely best presented in logical slash chronological order from beginning to end. But once you have that 30,000 foot view on the concept, it's interleaving practice paired with space repetition that's going to help you bank the facts in your brain's permanent memory vault so much faster than traditional study methods. Now, why is interleaving practice such an effective learning strategy? One of the main reasons interleaving practice improves learning and retention is because it forces the brain to constantly switch between different types of information, which requires effort. And when it comes to how your brain is designed to work, mental effort equals strong neural connections, just like physical work equals powerful muscles. Think of your brain as a vast library for every piece of information you have ever come across. When you learn something new, your brain files that information in its library. If you access that information often, your brain is going to come to learn exactly where it's stored and access it pretty fast when you need it again. But if you force your brain to repeatedly, randomly recall that information by jumping between subjects or concepts, it's going to learn several pathways to that information. And the more neural pathways your brain establishes to a piece of information, the better you'll remember it until eventually it requires no work at all for your brain to recall that information from scratch. This process, known as cognitive conflict, helps to strengthen connections between neurons and improve memory. Now contrast this with traditional blocked learning, where your brain is deeply entrenched in a single subject or concept, and so it only establishes a single and narrow pathway to that information. Do you now see why an interleaving learning strategy is more effective? And by the way, the opposite of interleaving practice is blocked practice, in which you practice one type of problem or skill at a time which for reasons that blow our minds is pretty much the default approach taken by the modern education system. Interleaving study practice also allows students to make more meaningful connections between different concepts, which prevents themes from becoming too reliant on a specific pattern, strategy or approach to solve a problem. In other words, it deepens our understanding of individual concepts and how they differ from similar concepts. Think about skills like playing a musical instrument. You might learn a song really well, chords C, G, A minor, and F. But if I now suddenly ask you to play those very same chords just in a different order, like C, F, G, F, you might suddenly find yourself struggling. This means that even though you know how to play all those chords in sequence, you still kind of have to learn the new song from scratch. The punchline here is that you're going to achieve fundamental mastery of that instrument much earlier if you learn to play the different chords completely at random as opposed to always in the same order. Because if your brain becomes too attached to a particular pattern, it'll struggle to differentiate between the individual concepts, or in this case, chords. And this will hinder your ability to learn new songs quickly. Being overly attached to specific patterns, strategies, or approaches is the same reason a lot of people struggle to recite the alphabet backwards. We all know the alphabet like the back of our hands, but our memory of it is so deeply grounded in the song we're taught as infants that things totally fall apart when required to recite it in the opposite order. Interleaving practice prevents our brains from attaching individual concepts like chords or letters to others, thereby strengthening our understanding of each one enabling us to learn it and remember it as a discrete unit that fits into a greater logical tapestry. Unfortunately, however, as we touched upon earlier, traditional academia doesn't really leverage into leaving practice to teach information, probably because it's just easier to take a systematic, chronological, blocked approach to dispensing lessons. Plus, there are obvious practical difficulties of, for example, your math teacher throwing down a bunch of random history or biology facts in the middle of a lesson. So how can interleaving practice be realistically applied to your own learning journey? Actually, it wouldn't be all that practically difficult for a math teacher to introduce an interleaving learning strategy in their classroom. One way would be to simply give students mixed problem sets that include a variety of math problems, or at least a few previously taught concepts thrown in. In other words, instead of just doing a math assignment on what you're currently learning about in class, your problem set would include the odd algebra question, or perhaps one on geometry, and thirds and logarithms. This not only refreshes the older information, but through interleaving practice, strengthens your brain's neural connections to the procedures it must follow to solve those math problems. You could do this yourself by writing a whole bunch of math problems or equations, each on a separate square of paper, which you then throw into a pile and draw at random to practice your math skills. 
fold the paper so that the answer on the back is hidden. Or even better, use Brainscape to make digital flashcards and save a tree. Here's another example of how you could implement interleaving practice into your learning strategies. Let's say you're studying for a history exam. You've been given a list of topics that will be covered on the exam, including ancient civilizations, world wars, and the American Revolution. Well, instead of studying each topic individually, you could use interleaving practice to mix things up and keep things interesting. So you break each chapter down into short sections and spend 15 to 20 minutes studying ancient civilizations, then 15 to 20 minutes studying world wars, and finally 15 to 20 minutes on the American Revolution. The next day, however, you mix it up by starting with the American Revolution and then the World Wars and finally ancient civilizations. Alternatively, you could take all of your flashcards from these three history chapters, mix them up together and then study them at random so that you simply don't know which topic is going to come up next. This random interleaving study strategy will help you to learn more efficiently because it forces you to constantly switch between different concepts, which helps to deeply reinforce the material in your memory. Plus, it keeps things interesting. The most powerful way to use interleaving practice, however, is to use it to bounce back and forth between totally different subjects. For example, including a handful of Spanish vocab or conjugation flashcards with your biology flashcards. The more extreme the brain acrobatics, the more powerful those neural connections become. So in summary, here are the ways you can harness interleaving practice in your learning journey. One, study flashcards that test you on an entire textbook chapter at random rather than in chronological fashion. Two, studying flashcards that test you on a number of different subjects at random rather than focusing exclusively on a single subject. Three, regularly switching between different study modalities, for example, a language teacher might have students alternate between reading, writing and speaking activities. 4. Regularly switching between study and non-study related tasks like going for that quick walk or doing the laundry between study sessions. Now the reason I'm using flashcards as an example of how to integrate interleaving practice into your study strategy is because flashcards are the perfect tool for distilling knowledge down into its constituent facts and concepts. They make it easy to repeat those individual concepts at customizable time intervals, and they can be organized in a variety of ways, depending on your unique needs. All of these factors make flashcards and especially digital flashcards, the perfect vehicle for interleaving practice. And Brainscape is the first flashcard app to combine the science back strategy with spaced repetition. Now let's finally explain how Brainscape can take any subject you're learning and help you leverage interleaving practice to learn them faster and remember it for longer. The gateway to unlocking the learning power of interleaving practice is Brainscape's Smart Study button. So Brainscape's Smart Study feature is really just a single button on your app's dashboard. By tapping that button, Brainscape will painlessly feed you a personalized study stream that relentlessly attacks your weaknesses across all of the subjects on your dashboard, whether you made those flashcards yourself or sourced them from Brainscape's library of expert curated and user generated content. Smart Study is also easily customizable so that you control exactly what mix of subjects you study. Simply tap on the configure icon next to the Smart Study button, adjust the percentage of flashcards you'd like to see from each class, and the algorithm will do the rest. So let's say that you have a huge geography exam coming up. You can set your percentages to be equal across all of your geography decks and classes, but zero on any non-geography topic so that you're receiving the perfect interleaved mix of geography specific flashcards. To benefit from interleaving practice, remember that the more your brain is compelled to jump between subjects, the stickier those concepts will become. So if you really want to learn for that geography exam efficiently, you could set your geography flashcards to 70% with perhaps some flashcards from Brainscape's Knowledge Rehab and Vocab Workout collections thrown in or whatever other subject you'd like to focus on. Alternatively, you could set your percentages for all your subjects to the same, allowing you to use Brainscape as a powerful review tool for multiple subjects at once. You can also configure Smart Study once and forget about it or regularly fine tune it to align seamlessly with your study goals for that day, week or month you have complete control. Either way, you'll be giving your learning a fierce boost with Brainscape's science-backed study strategies. In real life, we organically learn new information and master new skills in an interleaved fashion. It's fundamentally how our brains are wired to receive and retain information. And so interleaving study practice is a proven strategy to help students learn more efficiently. 
By mixing up your practice, subjects and topics and incorporating various activities, you can become a more confident and successful learner. One way to achieve this with little more than the tap of a button is Brainscape's Smart Study feature, which is built into the app and is 100% free for all learners. So now that you have a more sophisticated understanding of interleaving practice and the tools to incorporate it into your learning journey, go forth, practice and make perfect.